Leonardo Bonacci was one of the most important and influential mathematicians that ever lived. He was born in 1170, in a place called Pisa, found in Italy. He grew up with his father, Guglielmo Bonacci, who was a merchant that travelled around the Mediterranean Sea. As a result, he came across many different ideas behind math from many different people. His father was also appointed the Consul of Pisa, meaning he was one of the two magistrates who jointly ruled the Republic of Pisa. In the year 1190, Fibonacci and his father uprooted to move out of their home in Italy and pursue Guglielmo's work across the Mediterranean in Algeria. Having a different culture and language, Algeria was a very alien country compared to their home in Pisa. It was here in Algeria that Fibonacci attended school and learned several different numerical systems, including both the Hindu Arabic system and the Roman numeral system. Fibonacci also concluded that the Hindu Arabic system was far superior to the Roman system when applied to practical situations as it made calculations much easier. By 1200, Fibonacci moved out of Algeria and back to Italy, where he wrote many books. However, this time he lived much closer to Rome than to Pisa. The first book he wrote in 1202 was entitled Libera Bacci in which he promoted his idea of the Hindu-Arabic numerical superiority. The book was very popular in Europe, as it opened people's eyes to his ideas. This book is where he retained the name Fibonacci, as he explained and discovered the Fibonacci sequence. The theory behind it is relatively simple, and the example Fibonacci used was reproducing rabbits. At the start, there is one pair of rabbits, however, for the first month, rabbits do not reproduce, so after one month, there is still one pair of rabbits. After another month, they reproduce, leaving two pairs of rabbits. After another month, the original pair reproduce again, however, their first offspring do not, as they follow the rule that rabbits don't reproduce for the first month of their life, thus leaving three pairs left at the end of that month and so on. Here we can see the number of pairs 1, 1, 2 and 3 and the first four numbers of the Fibonacci sequence. The sequence is found in all parts of nature, from the veins on leaves to the number of branches on different trees. In 1220 he wrote his second book, called Practica Geometrae, explaining how to solve and apply geometric problems in real life. His third was complete in 1225 and called Libra Quadratura. It explained how to formulate and solve equations like this one by use of factorization. In 1940, Rome paid him large sums of money for his mathematical contributions to the city and to people living there. However, sometime between 1240 and 1250, Leonardo Bonacci passed away, though his ideas will always live on.